Alright guys, how's it going? So I was doing the usual, digging around the forums, looking for things to review, and I came across Blend Peaks. Now, this it's not entirely new, but I received an update three days ago, so it's definitely worth checking it out. Now, it's pretty damn cool, to be honest, and I'm fully aware you have add-ons like Landscape, and you also have the Landscape Texture add-on that kind of textures it for you. So let's quickly jump into Blender, and in traditional fashion, let's delete the default cube. Now if I come to the properties panel on the right hand side, or I can press N on the keyboard, you can see here Blend Peaks. And it's pretty self-explanatory to be honest, uh, you have divisions, you have create a peak, that'll generate the mesh, and what we'll do is we'll just hit create peak. And we get this cool textured landscape straight away, now you throw in a couple of volumetric clouds and pff, Bob's your uncle. But there's a few things we can kind of tweak about, and I believe this works in real time so I can actually increase the height here. Uh, in terms of the seed, that'll change the seed of the mountain. We have a different shape, we can play around with the shape, shape detail, maybe put this up a little bit. Obviously we have some ridges, ridge details, erosion, let's put the erosion up. I do like a bit of an erosion. Erosion scale, snow, let's give it a little bit more snow. Excellent, that's looking pretty sexy already. In terms of rock, uh, yeah, we could give it a little bit more rock as well. Uh, let's bring in the rock. And obviously here, we can control the colours, so we have a nice kind of green for grass, we obviously have the rock and snow, and you can play around with these. Now you can bake this into a height map, it's already rendering I believe in cycles at the moment, so it looks great when you hit F12, in fact I'll do that right now. So it looks pretty damn convincing, this would look great in the distance if you're just creating a quick shot, it even holds up pretty well when you go in close. So what you can do here is you can also bake a height map, which means you can render it in Eevee as well. And it's just a very nice, simple program. Now, I'm going to hit randomize. Now, obviously, the more divisions you go up by, you get a much more accurate representation of the mesh. You can hit randomize. I'm going to put this up to something silly. We'll go to 100. Let's go crazy. And let's put the height up a little bit. And I'll create a peak. Let me get something like that. Pretty cool. Very easy program to use. I'll put the link in the description down below. You're more than welcome to check it out. Do me a favour, guys. Please support the channel by hitting that like button and hitting subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.